Hey, what's up everybody? This is Anthony with Anthony's Customs, and I'm back today with a new custom figure. I made one Earthworm Jim before. This is my updated version. This is Earthworm Jim V2. This is for customer Hal. They've got the, uh, what did he get? Oh, he got the Nightcrawler figure I made a little while back. So this is his Jim. It's a little bit different than the first one. Let me go ahead and point out the differences first of all. Well, the head's different. It's a lot more aggressive looking. And then... In addition to that, he's got the backpack with the little snot guy in it. So, basically the same recipe, just a few changes. I still went with the Savage Dragon hands, despite the fact that it has four fingers and a thumb, instead of just three fingers and a thumb, just because it's so articulated and so nice. I just couldn't, couldn't not use it. I was going to use Mongol hands from DCUC, since it's only three fingers. But they're just big blocks. There's no articulation at all, so I didn't want to do that. Anyway, to the top of Jim's head, it's almost eight inches. To the top of the neck, it's like six and a quarter, maybe. So he's a little bit bigger, a little bit taller than Marvel Legends, just because of the uh, worm head. And um, that's okay, though, I think, since he's in a super suit. The head is removable by magnet, or connected by magnets, I should say. Pops right out. That way, if we ever want to add the uh, accessories like I did for the other gym, the other worm parts, I can just make those connect right there. Or I can make alternate heads for the figure, and they just pop right in there. So, just like that. He also has his blaster that I sculpted. A little bit of battle damage on that. And uh, he's got full articulation. Ball jointed shoulders. R rotation at the bicep with the ball joint. Single jointed elbow. It's all uh, Savage Dragon, so all the same articulation there. Wrist rotation, knuckle rotation there, knuckle or pivot, hinge, whatever you call that, knuckle there, there, and then on the thumb, same on both sides. Like I said, the head rotates. I got rid of the ab crunch in there just because it got in the way of the crosses, and he doesn't really need it since he's so top-heavy anyway. It'd be pretty hard to use it. The waist rotation is still there, ball-jointed hips. Thigh swivel, double jointed knees, single jointed ankles. I didn't do anything in the foot. I got rid of that articulation just because I needed to sculpt over it. And um, he's got the ankle rocker, and I added a little bit of extra range of motion there for the ankle. I re sanded all, all of the uh, jeans down from Savage Dragon so they didn't look quite so much like pants, a little bit more just like loose pants for the suit, kind of like Jim had. And then I obviously sculpted the feet. Pretty basic. I used uh, Mr. Sinister cape straps for the chest harness and belt and for the wrist straps. Sculpted the neck thing. Obviously, I had to chop off Savage Dragon's head. I cut down into the torso, upper torso, and then just re sculpted so that I could fit the neck thing in there. For the backpack, I didn't want it to just be a giant block of solid putty because it'd be really heavy. So, what I did was I folded up paper to the right shape and density or thickness. And then I just taped that together to get the general shape, and then I covered that with putty, that way, uh, sculpting clay. That way it wasn't so heavy. It's still solid. You can't crush it really unless you really tried to. Then I just put the little snot guy on top of there, and then put the top of the backpack on top of that. And that's just connected to his back. Pretty simple, but pretty effective. The snot guy is covered in gloss paint so that he actually looks like snot. The eyes have just a tinge, just the tiniest little bit of yellow in them so that they're not solid white, and then he's got the kind of opposite cross-eyed pupils on there. Uh, the suit has just a very tiny, tiny hint of a sheen to it. I didn't want it to look completely flat or completely glossy. It's just kind of more of a satin, almost matte finish, but just the tiniest hint of gloss all the way throughout. Gives it a nice feel, I think. And then for Jim's head, which I sculpted completely, um, Set that down. The teeth and the eyes have gloss like always. What I did was I just shaped the head out of wire and then put the sculpting clay over that. Got that to the right shape. Then I made the mouth. All the teeth are all sculpted individually. So I made the teeth and the eyes separately. Then I shaped, filled in the head as much as I could and I put the eyes and mouth where I needed them. Then I re-sculpted all over that. And then I put the eyebrows on last. So it's all a bunch of separate pieces put together. 
But he does have the one green eye, the big green pupil, the little black pupil, glossy eyes. They're not quite symmetrical, just like in the concept art. And then the glossy teeth. A little bit of a grimace. I could have just used one of the uh, gym heads from the old toy line, but everybody does that, so I wanted to do something a little bit more unique for my customer. So there you have it. There's my Earthworm Jim V2. Savage Dragon base body. Marvel Legends style figure for Hal. Thanks for watching. Keep an eye out for more reviews and more custom figures in the future. And in the meantime, keep collecting.